Hi everyone, this is Noelle of Life Partners and uh, Bob and I are on the Consciously Evolving Road and here we are in Camp Verde outside of Sedona, Arizona and we happen upon this magnificent group of people who are doing something absolutely amazing and I have one of their one of their leaders, Brian Kelly, who's a, a Reiki master among other things but um, Brian, uh, this tour, you call it the Opal Tour. Uh, one people absent limits. Can you just kind of explain um, a little bit about your tour and how it came about? How long is it going to be? How you? What is the ultimate manifestation of this tour? Sure. Um, well, let's see. This tour is a combination of work that we've been doing um, from some some radio shows ever mm -hmm. since uh, around January of this year, and. Um, it really only came together over the course of the last five or six weeks. Wow. And so there's been some serious manifestation <laughs> happening to, you know, to bring us to where we are today. I mean, we have, we purchased three RVs. We, we got 30 people on the road with us right now. And we're going city to city. Um, the idea, the one people absent limits uh, happened pretty organically, really. We, um, you know, I, I was, I've, I've been put in a position where majority of my work gets done at my computer desk staring mm -hmm. at my computer screen and I, I felt myself and the others felt like if we really want to start getting anything done mm -hmm. we need to have something more tangible than just surfing the net and doing radio shows and the uh, absent limits idea is really just all about stepping into our own personal empowerment you know so much of society is um, there's a perception of control there's a perception of limitation, but what we've learned is that all limits are self-subscribed. Uh, but there's just an illusion that has come in that has, you know, created the belief that um, limits come from some outside force, and when really all they do is come from within. So when we choose to live our lives abs absent limits, we're really just taking a jump into. Um, the new paradigm because we know that we have the ability to create the world around us through our perceptions. So when you perceive life with less limitations, then you live a life uh, and create a new world with less limitations. So, Well, that, that uh, is very helpful. And um, now I'm going to ask you about, um, can I just back up a little bit here? Yeah. Like, here you are, you were, you were like, let's, let's go back to your life about three years prior to this. Okay. What did that look like? Because you said everything was was kind of birthed, if you will, uh, at the end of 2012. And we all know what 2012 was about. Uh, so anyway, what was it that took, had you take this turn in your life, if, if you will? Well, that's a really long story. <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically, you know, I, I had an experience where I, I was... Um, I really woke up to understanding that the world that I knew, or the world that I thought I knew, was very different from the world that, that's the real world. You know, I, I lived my life in, in an illusionary state for you know, a very long time. I mean, I've always been a good person, I've always had high ideals, and I've always wished well for others, but um, I guess I, it was a series of events that um, took me basically out of the business that I was operating and I lost everything and you know I got to the point where when I lost everything I realized that when I had nothing left to lose that I had gained everything and it really ha started me on a, a mission of wanting to a understand the world mm -hmm. the real world mm -hmm. um, and and equally as important be wanting to understand my role in it and that just sent me on this you know, wow. catapulted me on this mission of really just um, focusing all my time 100% on seeking truth. Mm -hmm. And I'm a go-getter, mm -hmm. and that kind of go-getter entrepreneurial... I kind of get that. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that kind of go-getter entrepreneurial style that I, I've had mm -hmm. is, you know, the driving force behind what's really pushed me into the work that I've been doing for the last year. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just following the energy wherever it takes me. Um, I have no interest in leading in a so quote unquote ordinary life at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I'm most interested in connecting with as many people as I can. Um, unifying is, is something that we're big on right now. You know, there's some amazing people in this world doing amazing things, but there's Amen. there's no connective tissue that brings people together. And the more we harmonize and the more we start loving each other as brothers and sisters of humanity, 
and getting rid of old ideals of borders and controls and old systems that are no longer working. I love that uh, Buckminster Fuller quote. He said, when a system is broken, don't try to fix it. Just you know, create a new one to make the old one obsolete. And I think that that's what this tour is about. It's about creating a new system that makes the old one obsolete. We don't fight the old system. We just don't participate in it anymore. And when enough people do that, there's really no, no force that can come in between the people and their desire to create something new that works in the, in the best interest of, of everyone of all. So um, what will, what will uh, emerge uh, if you would say your idea, do you have a specific ideal that you're visioning of what uh, you know, the new paradigm looks like? Uh, do you do this as a collective? Um, what, what is that? Or are you just simply letting it, rolling with it and letting it emerge? You know, that's a really good question. Um, I mean, I could sit here and I could probably write a book on what I think the new paradigm will look like and what it'll feel like. Um, but, you know, in the past that hasn't really served me so well because I limit it to its, to its brilliance of what it can become. So, you know, a lot of people in the lightworker community, they talk about the event and some big event coming in and shaking things up and changing the world. And I was one of those people for a really long time. And I, I got to the Did point where I realized that the event was something that has already happened within me because the that's, world that's that where I the gold s- is. that's where the gold is the world that I see the world I perceive is filled with potential it's filled with love it's filled with happen- happiness and harmony and abundance and prosperity all my needs are always met because I know that they will be met mm-hmm. um, the right people are attracted in my life because I know the right people will be attracted in my life at the right times so I, I live in a new paradigm already because that's the world that I see around me and my perception is what creates that world and um, the best thing I can do is share that with others because you know I use the example sometimes you know you take a guy you know and this guy just can never catch a string of luck um, you know, he's this bad things are always happening to this guy. I don't want to say bad, but he's just always kind of stuck in a position where it, things just aren't working out his there's way. There's not happiness. There's, there's no there's happiness. Not, there's no joy. He's kind of a cynic. He's not he's always seeing the glasses half empty. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, has has trouble with relationships and keeping them, and and just has a just really struggles with life. And then you take another guy who might live right next door, having the same experiences. But this guy, he's fun to be around. He's really high energy. He lights up a room when he walks in. It's no ego. He's just love, and he's fun to be around. Well, you you have these two guys write a book about their the world they live in. And if and if somebody from outer space came in and read these two books. It would be like Mars and Venus. It would be two different worlds. That's because our perception of our world creates the world that we live in. So the way I, I, I'm happy with the way I see it, and I'm happy sharing it with others, that anybody that I meet along the way. Well, you've certainly shared it with us, and we really appreciate that because just by coincidence, we ended up uh, bumping into each other uh, here at the, um, the Camp Verde RV park, yeah. and uh, uh, Bob and I have uh, done a... a conscious evolution tour and we touched a lot of lives and um, you know it was just a a fascinating wonderful thing to do Um, and I so I really applaud what you all are doing and one of the things I I sense is that the fear barrier is really down and what a great place what a great space to live in this is a time of fearlessness because fear is an illusion they say the acronym is what false expectations appearing real and there, when there is nothing to fear, um, then we can really go within, and we can really create the kind of world that we want to live in. And uh, you know, to feel like you're on the front lines of that is, is a blessing and a gift, and um, something that you just want to share with everybody. That Amen. You need, so, well, I want to tell you uh, just before we close here, I would okay. like you to, you know, people, well, they're, I'm sure they're charmed by uh, the presence known as uh, Brian Kelly. <laughs> And so how would someone uh, find out about how to contact you, find out about the tour, uh, you know, perhaps uh, be a benefactor uh, of the tour? That would be most uh, welcome, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, I think we gave you some chicken. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, let's just wrap it up. I love chicken. And, and tell us uh, how, how we could contact you and be in touch with uh, what well, the beautiful work that you're bringing to the planet. Sure. Um, all of our radio shows can be found on 5dmedianetwork.com. 5D is in dog, or dimension, I should say. 
Um, that's what I thought it was for the fifth dimension. So that's the the number five. Number five. D, D media. media network dot com. I do shows on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Uh, my blog is Brian Kelly's blog. Dot blogspot dot com. Brian with an I. Kelly K E L L Y S. And um, that through there you can find out all all of my other you know the stuff that I'm working on and my contact information. But uh, yeah, I, I I appreciate the opportunity and and I love. Um, <laughs> I love this, this the coincidence. How dare you? I know. I love I love the synchronicities that are bringing people together right now, and it's you know to, to see you guys and to know that you've been staying here and you had no idea that we were coming and they just walked by and found us. I mean, there's obviously this was meant to be, and I'm grateful for the opportunity, and I, I look forward to connecting with anyone that may watch this and you guys down the track. Fabulous. Thank you so much for your time, Brian. Uh, thank really you. appreciate yeah. it. Blessings. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.